Hi, this is Bob. Working on the Heathkit SS9000 here. Uh, this one here is uh, one that's seen an awful lot of use and uh, was quite, uh, well, let's just call it shop worn. But I'm using it as a test unit. And what I'm testing today is uh, a couple of front panel boards I got. And I wanted a way to hook them up without taking the front panel apart and then installing the front panel board that I was testing uh, and then I'd have to take it back out again and if something was wrong it'd be in and out and in and out. So I thought, wow, if I had some extension cables I could uh, perhaps connect it up with it just laying on the back. The uh, other front panel board that is in here mounted properly is underneath and this is just a piece of, uh, of an envelope with uh, foam in it, one of those uh, ready-made foam lined uh, mailers. I just cut a piece of it and laid it in there for insulation to keep it separated from the wiring on the front panel which is active right now. And uh, what I did was I made up these jumpers. Here's one right here and there's another one right here. Now all I needed was two jumpers a 5 pin and a 10 pin and I scrounged around and scrounged around and finally found enough connectors to do it. Uh, I needed uh, 10 pin uh, 10 pins here on this end and 10 sockets on this end up here and then this one just needs 5 sockets here and 5 pins up here and I was able to uh, find enough connectors to do that and I think I bought those at a ham fest just some old junker connectors and cables and things for little or nothing and uh, oh man they came in handy you know those connectors if you've got one that's uh, that's 10 pins wide let's say and you need a 5 pin you can take a small pair of wire cutters and uh, go down in the little holes where the pins slip in and snip them and you can make a 5 pin or a 3 pin or a 6 pin whatever you happen to need out of a 10 pin. But what I wanted to show you was how to lay the board in here and you can connect it like that and uh, let's see if we can see it here. You can see the digits you, I, I can look right down in here and see the digits looking that way or I can come down underneath and there they are down there. Okay and then I can reach underneath, I can raise that up a little bit, reach underneath, I can push the, there's a high speed up and down buttons near the bottom down here, I can reach underneath and I can zip those up and down. But I just wanted to show you guys the method that I'm using here for uh, testing these front panel boards. And uh, these worked out really nice. I had to replace an IC here, right there. I've changed that one. And that is the IC that drives these four transistors. That, that supplies filament voltage to the vacuum fluorescent display tube. And you check the uh, filament voltage on a display tube from uh, this pin right here, right where my fingernail is, to this little pin right down here where my fingernail is. The last two pins on the vacuum fluorescent display tube. And the vacuum fluorescent display tube, believe it or not, runs off of AC. This little chip right here generates the AC and these four transistors here then, then are amplifiers that supply that AC to the filament of that vacuum display tube. So the only thing I've had go wrong with these is, is lost, the, uh, lost the filament voltage. And uh, if you hook it up like this, don't forget to ground it. I've got a ground lead here just hooked on the chassis. And I've been using my ever faithful little uh, red uh, digital multimeter there from uh, Harbor Freight. That's the same one I've been using right from the first video. It just works and works. And it's very accurate. I like those. I'm trying to think of anything else to mention here. I guess that's it. Just be very careful you don't short something out while you're doing this. And that's what this uh, piece of uh, foam lined mailer is for. You can see it extends back here and over here and keeps everything insulated. So that's it. I want to try and raise it up a little higher so you can see it better. And my mailer fell out. So now I've got a predicament 
I'll just hold that up with my hand, reach underneath and turn it off. So that's it guys. I just wanted to show you the method of uh, servicing these front panel circuit boards. Uh, that's it for today. 73's and good DX.